Howdy, y'all. Welcome to the Beverly Hillbillies Facts and Trivia. Y'all kick off the shoes and you set a spell, all right? Now here's your host for the show, that old Kentucky boy himself, Mr. Bob Snap. Hi, folks. Welcome to the Beverly Hillbillies Facts and Trivia. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you had a great weekend. I'm glad you stopped back again on this Monday. Um, today's video is on Buddy Epson and how he was the star of the Beverly Hillbillies. But you know what? Max Bear Jr. got a lot more fan mail. The Beverly Hillbillies was loved by many fans. The series Humor, Annex, and Titanhead Family ranked high among fans and high in the Nielsen ratings during its duration on air from 62 to 71. But if there was anything fans loved more than the series, it was the show's stars. Buddy Ebsen, Irene Ryan, Donna Douglas, and Max Bear Jr. were the four main stars fans went wild for, specifically Buddy Ebsen. He was one of the show's most popular stars with prior success in Hollywood. Now, while he may have had the popular vote, Bayer Jr. had the women's vote. And according to a 1962 interview with the Birmingham News, Bayer Jr. said he still rubbed his eyes in amazement over the sudden change in his career and popularity because of his role as Jethro Bodine. He was a superstar, and he had the fan mail coming in to prove it. Gosh, the girls send in pictures, and some are mighty pretty, too, Bayer said. But they ought to know one thing. I'm not the marrying kind. I like to date, but seldom the same girl twice in a row. A very honest answer that may have cost him a few pieces of fan mail from adoring women. According to the interview, Bear Jr. would usually receive around 2,000 pieces of fan mail per week. Despite being the most popular person on the show as measured by his fan mail, Bear Jr. gave all the credit to his co-star Buddy Ebsen. He added, if, young, if every young actor had the pleasure of working with Buddy, he'd have something going for him in a big way. Naturally, I'm grateful and flattered, but I'm not the star of this thing by any means, Bear Jr. said. If I'm getting more fan mail, I'd say it's due to two factors. Buddy's admirers are not of the age group that writes letters, and two, Buddy being the pro he is, has made my part of Big Jethro what it is. Right from the beginning, he has been throwing the best lines to me, as well as to Irene Ryan, Donna Douglas, and the others in the cast. Ebsen and Bear Jr. had a close friendship off-screen, too. According to the interview, Bear Jr. would go sailing with Ebsen on his boat. The two would even enter in boat races together and had a knack for winning. Even though Bear Jr. had the most fan mail, he was Ebsen's biggest fan. If he feels a scene should go to someone else because it would be funnier that way, he's quick to point it out to the producer, Bear Jr. said. All I can say is if I'm ever as big a star as Buddy, I hope I'll be a bigger person as he is. I don't think as far as uh, an acting, you can give anyone better compliment than that. Uh, was well... Uh, to be able to, to pat yourself on the back for the fan mail, but then turn around and give the reason that you're that popular is because of this guy. You know, that's, that's, that's really cool. And, and kudos to Max Bear Jr. You gain more respect from me. Anyway, that's all I have for you. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Please don't forget about classic TV facts of trivia. It is on Sanford and Son. And classic rock country music facts and trivia is on Bon Jovi and how they played, uh, had to play a Moscow concert in order to keep his then-manager out of prison. It's pretty interesting, guys. You need to check it out. Please, if you don't mind, please subscribe here if you have not yet. And please like this video. Thank you very much. Just click that thumb down there and give me a thumbs up, and I'll be loving you forever. <laughs> guys, have a great day. God bless. And I'm praying for you.